Hello, and welcome to the Create Common Good Kitchen. Food safety is a very important part of working in any place where they prepare food. Grocery stores, restaurants, cafeterias, and food manufacturing plants. There is more to making good food than simply making it taste good. To help you learn a little bit more about what we have to do to keep our food safe, let's watch Katie as she gets ready to work in the kitchen. Let's see how Katie does. Watch for what she does wrong and see how many mistakes you can count. How many mistakes did you count? Five? Ten? There were fifteen mistakes. Let's go back and see what Katie should have done. Katie showed up to work looking a little sick and in dirty clothes. She didn't put away her coat properly, and she didn't put on her kitchen clothes. If you are feeling sick, make sure to tell your manager. Always arrive to work well rested and clean. Take a shower before you arrive. We have one here if you would like to use it. There are several places to put your personal items. Hang coats and jackets on the rack by the ladies' bathroom. Any smaller items can go in the lockers. Clean chef's jackets go on this rack. Dressing the part is an important part for food safety. What is Katie wearing that isn't right? What about now? Take off all jewelry and watches. Ladies, make sure your hair is pulled back in a bun. Here's what it should look like. Always wear closed-toed shoes. Wear clean clothes. Everyone needs to wear a hat. If you'd like, you can also wear a chef's jacket. Katie walks into the kitchen and she doesn't wash her hands. She puts on her apron and goes straight to work. She rubs her nose and sneezes into her gloved hands. Then she touches her hair, returning immediately to her onions. Michelle comes in to give Katie a job. She shakes hands with Michelle, keeping her gloves on, who asks her to put away some raw chicken. Katie touches the raw chicken, which covers her gloves in bacteria, and then goes straight back to her onions. Next, Katie uses the restroom. She does not take off her apron when she goes into the restroom. When she is finished, she does not wash her hands properly. Last, Katie comes back into the kitchen without washing her hands. You must always remember to wash your hands whenever you come into the kitchen. Let's watch Katie as she shows us the proper way to wash our hands. First, rinse your hands under hot water. If it is too hot, add a little bit of cold water. We want it as hot as you can get it without hurting your hands. Get some soap and lather up. Make sure to get between your fingers 
under your fingernails, and your upper arms. Rinse off the soap. Dry your hands with a towel and turn off the water. The whole process should take 20 seconds. What other times do we need to wash our hands? If your hands are dirty, if you've touched your face or hair, if you've used your phone, if you've just used the restroom, or if you've changed your gloves. Remember, gloves are not to keep your hands clean, but to keep the food clean. Be very aware of what you are touching at all times. These are the times when you must change your gloves. If you leave your station, even if only for a moment, if you shake someone's hand, if you touch your face or hair, if you've changed jobs, like dishwashing, to something else, if you've changed products, especially raw meat, to fruits or vegetables. If you've touched garbage. If one of your gloves has a cut or tear. If in doubt, change your gloves. Do not worry about wasting or throwing away the gloves. We want to keep food safe. Always take off your apron before using the bathroom. All employees must wash their hands after using the bathroom. Use proper hand washing technique and use the towel to open the door. Katie returns to work and feels like having a snack. Her granola contaminates the onions. Next, she takes a drink and it spills all over. She does not clean her cutting board and now the food must be thrown away. We can make people very sick by contaminating our products with allergens or bacteria. No eating or drinking by the food you are preparing. If you want a snack, you must eat away from food preparation areas. You may also eat at the family meal table. If you have coffee, tea, water, or any other types of drinks, it must stay away from food prep areas. You may take quick breaks to take a drink in one of these areas but do not keep it by food. These are the basics of food safety. If you remember to practice good hygiene and cleanliness, we can keep our customers safe and happy. Remember, safe food is good food.